it's Mary. I hope that you are doing well. Thank you for joining me here today where we are going to pick the books that I'm reading in May. And we're going to do that again with the help of our To Be Read jar. And we'll do this very similarly to how we've done it the last couple months. So I will pick four slips out of here, one at a time. The first time I pick a slip that has a certain genre on it, obviously I'll read it. And if I pick the same genre twice, I'll read both of those. But if I pick it a third time, then I'll put it back in the jar and choose another one. So let's get started. Here we go. And the first book is The Ravens, and it is a fantasy. So The Ravens is currently checked out, so I will put that on the side after we choose all of our books for this month. It'll go back in the jar. Here is the second one, and it is The Poetry of Secrets, and it's historical fiction. And there we are. Let's choose our next one. Hold Back the Tide, which is a fantasy and mystery. All right, found it. So let's choose our third book. And The Queen of Nothing, which is a fantasy. Okay, so we have a bit of a complication here because I have already read The Queen of Nothing. So I am going to do a review of The Queen of Nothing, but I'm going to pick another book. There we are. And this one is Chain of Iron, which is a fantasy, Cassandra Clare. And there we go. So we've got three. Let's choose our final book. So picked up two. So those are going right back in. And let's see if this one is in. It's Attack on Titan 5, which is manga. I believe it's checked out. Let me go check on that. Attack on Titan 5 is checked out, so back to the jar, and here we are. Super Fake Love Song, which is contemporary fiction. So there's Super Fake Love Song. All right, so the reviews we'll be doing this month, The Queen of Nothing, which is the third book in the Cruel Prince series, and... So, just a summary from what it says in here. Power is easier to acquire than it is to hold. That is what Jude learned when she released her control over the wicked King Cardan. Now, as the exiled mortal Queen of Fairy, Jude is left reeling from Cardan's betrayal. Jude must risk venturing back into the treacherous fairy court and confront her lingering fears for Cardan if she wishes to save her sister. So the Poetry of Secrets by Cambrina Gordon takes place in 1481 in Spain. And here's the summary from inside. Isabel should be overjoyed that the Alguacil of the city wants to marry her, especially since she and her family are conversos. So Jewish people who converted to Catholicism, leaving them low in the hierarchy of the new Spanish order. But Isabel's biggest secret is this. Though the Perezes claim to be new Christians, they still practice Judaism in the refuge of their own home. When the Spanish Inquisition reaches Trujillo, determined to punish people who do that, Isabel finds herself in more danger than she could have ever imagined. Hold Back the Tide by Melinda Salisbury. And just the summary from inside, everyone in this quiet lakeside community knows that Alva's father killed her mother all those years ago. There wasn't enough proof to arrest him though, and with no other family, Alva's been forced to live with her mother's murderer 
doing her best to survive until she can earn enough money to run away. The more Alva investigates, the more she realizes that the truth can be more monstrous than lies, and you can never escape your past. Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. Cordelia Carstairs seems to have everything she's ever wanted. She's engaged to marry the boy she's loved since childhood. She has a new life in London with her best friend. She's about to be reunited with her beloved father, and she bears the sword Cortana, a legendary hero's blade. But the truth is far grimier. James and Cordelia's marriage is a lie. James is in love with the mysterious Grace Blackthorn, whose brother Jesse died in a terrible accident. Cortana burns Cordelia's hand when she touches it, while her father has grown bitter and angry. And a serial murderer is targeting the Shadow Hunters of London. Together with the Merry Thieves, Cordelia, James, and Lucy must follow the trail of the knife-wielding killer, all the while each is keeping a shocking secret. Super Fake Love Song by David Yoon. And again, just the summary from inside. When Sunny Day, self-proclaimed total nerd, meets Cirrus So, he can't believe how cool and confident she is. So when Cirrus mistakes Sunny's older brother Gray's bedroom for Sunny's own, he sort of, kind of, accidentally winds up telling her he's the front man in a rock band. Before he knows it, Sonny is knee deep in the lie. He ropes his best friend into the scheme and they form a fake band with him and start wearing Grey's rock and roll cast-offs. Just when Sonny is about to come clean, Cirrus asks to see them play sometime. Now there's only one thing to do. Fake it till you make it. Sonny goes all in on the lie and pretty soon the strangest things start happening. But it's only a matter of time before Sonny's house of cards starts tumbling down and his lies begin to catch up with them. So, we will be back next week, and we'll start with The Poetry of Secrets as our first review for May. I hope to see you again then, and until then, I hope that you enjoy whatever you read. And thank you.